In this video, you will learn how to titrate KMNO4 using oxalic acid. Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel, Source of Skills. Please like and subscribe our channel for informative videos. Required pretests and chemicals include A conical flask Oxalic acid of 0.1 molar Dilute H2SO4 Pipette of 50 milliliters, an iron stand, a bureau of 100 milliliters, a funnel, solution sample of KMNO 400 milliliter, a stirrer plus heater, a magnetic bar, take a conical flask. And start adding oxalic acid of 0.1 molar in it. You can use pipette. Now pipette out 20 milliliters and put it into the conical flask. Now you would have to add some dilute H2SO4 in the conical flask. Use another new pipette and you have to add 20 ml dilute H2SO4 into the conical flask. Now take an iron stand, adjust burette on it, put funnel on the top of the burette, fill KMNO4 solution into the burette with the help of funnel you have to fill the KMNO4 solution up to the zero point take magnetic stirrer plus heater put magnetic bar into the conical flask put this conical flask onto the magnetic stirrer plus heater adjust the temperature to 70 degrees celsius and set the speed or rpm up to your requirement now start pouring the solution of KMNO4 into the conical flask you have to add it dropwise you can stop the burette when you will achieve pale yellow color achieved by KMNO4 now stop the burette and note down the reading the used KMNO4 is 80 milliliters. Let's see the reaction between KMNO4 and oxalic acid. You can see you get many salts at like K2SO4 plus 2MNSO4 plus 18 molecules of water and 10 molecules of carbon dioxide. Let's start some calculations. Now the formula to find out molar concentration of KMNO4 M1V1 divided by N1 is equal to M2V2 divided by N2 where M1 is the molarity of KMNO4 which we have to find out V1 is the volume of KMNO4 used which is 80 milliliters and one is the number of moles of KMNO4 used which is 2 moles we got this from the previous reaction that we used 2 moles of KMNO4 in this reaction where M2 is equal to molarity of oxalic acid which is 0.1 molar V2 is the volume of oxalic acid which is 20 milliliters N2 is the number of moles of oxalic acid which is 5 moles We found this from the reaction that in this reaction we use 5 moles of oxalic acid Now rearrange the formula M1 is equal to N1 by N2 multiply M2 V2 divided by M1 by putting values we get our molarity as 0.01 molar. For more informative videos, please like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.